Hi, Harper's Bazaar, it's Paris Hilton, and today we're gonna look at some of my most iconic Y2K fashion looks. I remember this was in Las Vegas at the opening of the Paris Hilton Hotel. It was such a fun night having a hotel named after me. <laughs> I think the most Y2K part of this outfit is definitely the top, and especially this fringe part, because that was really big during Y2K. And I always loved wearing my hair clips, one of my favorite Y2K accessories. And I love these shoes. The big platforms were really big during that era. Anytime I'm in Vegas, I love to wear dresses that sparkle. So this was the perfect Vegas type of look. I would totally wear this look again now. I think this outfit is a Y2 yay. I love this photo of my sister Nikki and I. It's from one of our nights out in New York back in the day. I'm obsessed with this bag. This is the Fendi baguette. It is so iconic and especially back in Y2K, everyone was rocking them. And the wedge sandals, those were really popular back then. These ones I think are hideous, so I cannot believe I wore them, but anyway. <laughs> and I remember this jacket. I got this back in the day on Melrose at one of the little thrift stores. And it looks cute with this little top. I think this is, hmm, the Versace top under it. And I love this snake print with the lace. It's really cute and very Y2K. I would wear this look again without the shoes. Instead, I would rock it with like really cute boots. This look is a Y2K. So here's another photo of my sister and I on one of our nights out. This was at the Bridget Jones Diary premiere in New York. And I am in love with these outfits. They're so cute. Back then I had no stylist, so I was literally just going shopping around downtown in New York and finding all these cute things. And I can see that I'm rocking the body jewelry. Swarovski was making these back in the day and it's basically like, kind of like a press on tattoo, but with Swarovski crystals. And I was just obsessed with them back then. <laughs> Chokers were another very popular accessory back in Y2K and I still love rocking them. I think they're so sexy. Loving the evil eye belt buckle. These are good luck and my friend Lior made actually all the accessories we're wearing. So we used to always rock all of her jewelry and purses and belts. And she just had so many cute things that sparkled and just were my favorite accessories back then. This cat purse is everything. Everyone knows that I am such an animal lover. And of course the cat had to have its own bling necklace as well. I would definitely wear this look again. This look is definitely a Y2A. So this photo is from a Details Magazine party and I am rocking the cowboy hat, which I would definitely not rock on a red carpet today, but back in Y2K, all the cool girls had their cowboy hats. I love this choker. Y2K was all about bling and just being extra. And this choker is really beautiful because it's just very thick and I love the crystals. And yeah, I think it brings the look together. I love this faux fur jacket. This was during a cold time in LA, so wanted to be comfy and warm, but still look hot in my slip dress. The only thing that I'm missing is a spray tan. I don't think I've ever looked so pale on a red carpet, especially in the early 2000s. Looking back, I don't think I'd wear this outfit again. At least I would accessorize it different and lose the hat. Unfortunately, this look is a Y2 nay. This is me at the Maxim Magazine party in LA. I'm in love with this leopard cat suit. Like I literally wanna go in my closet and find it tonight because I've been rocking a lot of these lately. I love this plunging neckline. I think it looks so sexy with this outfit. And of course I have my big sparkly choker on again. <laughs> I'm definitely looking in my closet tonight to find this outfit because I can't wait to rock it again. This look is 100% a Y2A. This look is so rocker chic. This was back when I used to go to the Sunset Marquee, which is kind of like a rock and roll bar. So I was definitely going with that vibe. Love my arm warmers. These are the original Sliv gloves, my fingerless gloves that I love to wear. Uh, I love these neon pink ones. They look so cute with this look. And these were very Y2K. And of course I'm rocking a choker again. I could see that I was definitely obsessed with chokers back in the day. <laughs> love these sunglasses. They are so cute. They remind me of the sunglasses that I just wore when I was walking in the Fenty show. And she made the same exact ones in holographic and they're just so iconic. I would rock this look again. This look is for sure a Y2A. So I wore this look to a movie premiere in New York and I was going for kind of like a cute, comfy look for a movie. <laughs> so again, I'm rocking a choker. As I said before, I was obsessed with them. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's a choker or if it's like a 
scarf. So it's one or the other, but it looks like a big sparkly choker. And of course, I'm rocking the body jewelry again with my very low rise cut jeans. <laughs> I wouldn't wear this look again now. Sorry, but I have to give this look a wide tune. So the first thing I noticed about this outfit is that I'm rocking a tiara. I used to love rocking tiaras all the time. I feel that every girl should own a tiara because every girl is a princess. So for this look, I was going for like a rocker Princess Barbie vibe. So of course I had to rock fishnets and these crazy boots. They're so cool. I love those. Another accessory that was really big back then were the sparkly belts. So I was always rocking those. And of course, my belly button ring, love it. And of course, I had to go with my favorite Y2K accessory, the choker. It's a really cute look, but I don't think I'd rock it again. <laughs> this look is a Y2 yay for then, but a Y2 nay for now. Looking back at these photos brings just so many memories to my mind. Always had so much fun with fashion. Now my style has definitely changed, but it's so cool now just to see so many people inspired by my looks. And I don't know, always loved being a trendsetter and the OG loves it. Thank you Harper's Bazaar. That was so much fun going through all my iconic Y2K looks.